So we'll just cast our eyes on the next race, which will be the C1 men over 5,000 meters. As I check the results, Jenny Egan, it was indeed the bronze medalist. So, Jenny, apologies from me. I thought you were in fourth, but you did the race correctly. Sarah Mihalik was disqualified, so Jenny Egan, Egan Simmons, I should say, congratulations on your bronze medal. That is a fantastic result for Ireland and a fantastic result for you. Bronze medal to add to your collection. Well, we'll go back to the start to see the C1 men at 5,000 metres line up. Spain, Poland, Ukraine, Moldova, USA, Hungary, Slovakia, Cuba, Italy, Germany, Estonia, Japan, Brazil, and home favourite in Canada represented here. It's going to be a battle royale for the first turn. 14 paddlers in this one. 14 all battling to get first to the turn. Well, doesn't really go, so some people are going to miss out. No rudders on these boats, remember. Steering is difficult. You paddle on one side, there is no rudder. You've got to use your technique, quite often a J-stroke. They'll use where they twist the paddle just before it exits the water in order to keep the boat running straight, and also leaning the boat over to one side will help it to get round those bends. If you're a right-hander, arguably, you're in a better position because you're going round anti-clockwise bends. Six laps, first long lap, and then five short laps. Remember, two portages. Paddlers can choose whether they take the portage in lap two, three, four, or five. If you are last at the end of the lap, you'll be knocked out. And also those paddlers that are lapped will also be knocked out now. There's the controversial figure, Sergei Tarnovsky, suffered a drugs ban, was out of the sport for four years, trained on his own, then came back to win a bronze medal at the Tokyo Olympics. He took sixth place here in the C1 1,000 metres. Would expect him to go well, Malas Adolf. Well, as Ross said on the pontoon, Hungarians always do well. They always do well in sprint, they do well in marathon and long distance racing like these 5Ks as well. So expect him to go well. And there is a name Brendel, Sebastian Brendel. For the last 15 years, we see him win medal after medal after medal. Now, I think he's got 12 World Championship gold medals to his name. I wouldn't put it past him to win a 13th. Just staying ahead of Lisa Carrington. And uh, possibly one of the best races today here at the World Championships was, in fact, the C2 men's 1,000 metres. So if you didn't see the coverage, check it out from earlier today. Sebastian Brendel and Tim Hecker put on a huge pressure by the Chinese, but they still delivered. Great race, that Ready? one. We may well see a great race here. We're underway with the C1 5,000-metre race. Six laps, one long one, five short, two portages and knockouts for anyone who's at the back of the field at the end of each lap. Now the overhead shot shows us about four boats all fighting it out for pole position here. It's hard work being at the front, but at least you can dictate the terms of the race. And that's what the panels are looking for now. Tarnowski's got away well. Sergei Tarnowski, he's number five. Also number eight, that is Rusnak, the Slovakian. And, well, Brazil also. The distinctive blue boat of Brazil. Felipe Vieira following in the footsteps, the 20-year-old of his compatriot, the ever-popular and exciting Ezequiel dos Santos, who didn't disappoint over this weekend. Hugely popular with the crowd. He really is a superstar, Ezequiel dos Santos. And this is his legacy. Young Brazilian paddlers coming through have had success. The young canoe paddlers from Brazil and also the para canoe team who have been successful here. Brazil coming third in the para canoe medal table behind Great Britain and Ukraine. Sebastian Brendel sort of languishing close to the back there. 
Um, I wouldn't be surprised if that C2 1000 meter race took it out of him. Sebastian Brendel normally so happy to chat, just couldn't find the words at the end of that race. Despite winning, it really did take it out of him. So we'll see if he's recovered. Sergei Tanovsky has the group forming round him. Seven and eight, that's Balas Adolf and Mate Rusnak. They're in good positions, forming round, forming a group around the Moldovan. The Brazilian just seems a bit confused and quite know what he wants to do now. Caught in no man's land, Felipe Vieira. So, first lap is a long one, remember. They're about to get to the turn now. Rusnak and Adolf perhaps conserving a little bit of energy. And on the right-hand side there, just picking up the slightly weaker wash. Well, that's number nine. That is Cuban Sergei Madrigal. Don't discount him. Wonderful races we saw in Poznan when they introduced Portages for the very first time in this 5,000 meter race, and both Cubans did exceptionally well at that. The winner that time was Jose Cordova, but Sergei Madrigal picked up the bronze, and the left hander just having to really lean the boat right over to the right hand side to get round the bend. Brendel's left handed too, he just goes out of picture, nice and tight to the boy. The Brazilian now languishing in the lower places. So, a bit of a change in position there. So, number nine. That is the Cuban, Sergei Madrigal, gets himself in a good position. The group form around the Moldovan, who's done all the work so far. I'm sure he may well be happy to share the lead with the others once they've broken away from the rest of the field. They're heading back down towards the finish tower, towards the finish line to go around the turn. They won't be portaging on this because it's the first lap, but they will have in the back of their mind two portages that they must make before the end of this race. Now, number eight in pitcher, what's he going to do? That is Matej Rusnak, got it such a good start, just to the right of your pitcher, being followed by the talented Italian Talo Tacchini. Well, and Brendel. Now, if these three behind, here's the lead group. We've got Moldova, we've got Cuba, we've got Hungary, but behind them, if these three can work together, they have the talent, they have the speed, they have the endurance to get back on terms with the lead group, but they need to work together. There is just a gap, about 10 meters, one set of boys between these two groups. Now, 10 meters is doable. If these three behind work together, they could get on terms and they'll really mix things up because six is quite a big group to have in this event. Great to see from that camera angle. Now, quite often in C1 5,000 meter racing, we see a procession. One paddle ahead of the next, ahead of the next, and they just paddle round for 5,000 meters. Not this time, the tactics coming into play here. Two groups forming, one has missed out. Now, Takini leading in the blue boat. I think, I'm not sure whether Brendel's just dropped off a little bit there. Tarnovsky is leading, he's got the red vest, Cap turned backwards. Hungarians in there as well. Balas Adolf, third in the B final in the 1,000 meters, so he's got fitness. He's got the long levers, the long stroke. He's also right-handed, which will help him round these bends. Just completing lap one of six. That's the first big long lap about to be finished. So, just a bit of... Argy Bargy here, coming round the bend. Favouring slightly the right-handers, two of them in that lead group. Brendel's still there in the second group with Tacchini. So Italy and Germany just behind. And struggling a little bit is the Slovakian who's dropping back. Now then, we've got a left-hander on the outside of the bend. On a left-hand bend, that's not easy to handle. For Sergei Torres Madrigal, but he's handling it well. Such a great paddler. 
a great technician in this sport, and it is a technical sport, canoe. Yes, of course, you have to be strong, you have to be fit, but you have to, have to understand how to get about moving. And these three doing that very well. You can just see a sweep stroke, a wide stroke from the Hungarian as they tackle the wash coming from the other paddlers. And the group begins to form around the Moldovan once again. Sergei Tonovsky dictating the terms, but using more energy than the two behind him. And then tactics coming into play, just beginning to cross their mind. OK, we've done a lap. We're on the second lap. Should we portage now, or do we leave it till later? So five short laps to go. Short laps, they turn around the 250 mark, which they're just getting to now. Round the orange boys they go, and Tarnowski just leaving a gap for Badolf to sneak through. Doesn't have to do that, he's been quite generous. And not the quickest round the bend, and he's taking the inside of the bend now. Balas Adolf has gone on the inside of that boy. He may well be disqualified, he may have to go back round for that, but that surely that can't count. You have to stay on the right-hand side of the boys. Now, if Brendel, Takini have seen that, they'll sense they've got a chance here, an opportunity to take of getting on the medal rostrum once again for Brendel for the first time in this World Championships for Takini. Right, we've got a procession now, but is it a procession towards the pontoon? If you're in a good position, maybe you take the... You take the portage. Come on, here we go, look. Right hand strokes, look at the green vest, look at the boat. He takes that boy, but Balas Adolf, he's on the inside, undoubtedly, of that one. That is not going to count. Surely he's going to be disqualified from that. We'll wait and see. We're coming towards the end of the second lap, but there's a sting in the tail of this lap. The portage, and one of the difficult things about this portage is the angle of the pontoon. The paddlers head straight for it, but then they have to come alongside it. And what they don't want to do is lose any speed. We may well see someone the likes of Sergei Torres Madrigal in the in the lead at the moment, just jump out of the boat and run along without losing momentum. That's the way to do it. He's done a pretty good job there. Will he drag or will he carry it? He drags it. He's done this before. Drags the belt. That is the way to Portage. He's got the advantage. Boat manufacturers don't like it, but the boat will survive for one race, being dragged like that. Cross on to the next pontoon, cutting the corner there. And two get away from three. Balas Adolf, though, in the green vest at the back of the, that second group, may well be disqualified due to him not negotiating the bend correctly. So that will be lap two completed. Four to go, four laps to go for these paddlers. One more portage. There, a number of them choosing not to take them, but all those in the lead group have taken the portage, have stayed together, don't want to take a risk. They believe in their ability to beat the other paddlers when it comes down to the last lap and the sprint at the end. Tarnowski, in the red vest from Moldova, leads the way. Torres Madrigal from Cuba is right up there. Takini now in the blue boat. Carlo Tacchini, number 10, the Italian, now on terms with the lead group. It's been a good couple of laps for him, for the right-hander. Looking good, looking smooth, looking strong. Not quite on the wash of Madrigal, but he's not far away. Already, we're almost at the turn of this, the third lap, second of the short laps. The third of six. Go past the crowd. 
and then negotiate this anti-clockwise turn once more. So here we go, the Italian's just got to make sure he stays on the correct side, the right side of these boys as he goes round the right-hander. Uh, the boat's Constantina here just come together as they slow down for the bend. The Italian just being caught out there, he went really tight on the first boy and then had to go wide around the next few, so he's lost a bit of time. And there will be probably 10 metres between the first two and the third boat now. That's why the turns are so important in this race. Now, you can see just to the left of your picture, the building of the finish tower. That is where the paddles are heading because that's where the pontoon is. Looks like they're going to take their... You can see the Brazilian was knocked out on the last lap. This is where they're going to take the portage of the leaders. So we've got Moldova. There he is in picture, Sergei Tarnovsky, Olympic bronze medalist. And we've got Torres Madrigal. Wily character just hanging in there. And Takini got good speed, good endurance, good technique. When he's in a straight line, he hasn't managed these bends quite as well as the leading two paddlers. So let's just see how the portage goes now. Coming up to that green pontoon. Yeah, we should see them hop out onto their left leg, grab the boat towards the front and drag it behind them. Torres Madrigal seems to be a little bit better at that. So not only will he come out a little bit further ahead than the Moldo, well, he won't do actually. He's caught the Moldovan up. But uh, Tarnovsky has managed to stay ahead. Right, into the pontoon. Careful they don't overbalance. And actually, Tarnovsky, really good portage from him. He's got clear water. And he's got a bit of a decision to make now, has Tarnovsky. Because he's gapped Takini, the Italian. Uh, does he want to keep that gap? Or does he want to regroup once more? Well, we'll see. As we see the other boats take their portage, Tarnovsky's waited. He's just cruised around this bend as he completes the third of six laps. He knows all he's got left are three short laps. It's exactly the same for the Cuban. So for the next two laps, it'll be about conserving energy and staying ahead of Takini. Behind them, well, Malas Adolf is still there. But he will be disqualified for not negotiating the bend correctly. So Sergei Tarnovsky, big preparation of the blade before he hits the water and locks onto it there. Looking to get both arms straight, really locked on and lift the weight of the combined weight of himself and the boat so that it lurches forward doing that pretty well. And whilst he's doing that, he's trying to conserve as much energy as possible and do as little steering as possible. And that's one of the advantages for, uh, for being in the front, is that you don't have the waves the wash of other boats to contend with. Torres Madrigal in second place, the Cuban. Very, very experienced, good at sitting on the washes and trying to conserve his energy. It's not easy for him. Doing that well, the left-hander, Takini, just tracking them a little bit behind. May well find on the next straight, Takini just tries to reel them in a little bit, but he needs to negotiate this bend well. He did poorly last time round. He needs to be much smoother and tighter to the boys, so that he gives himself a chance of getting back on terms with these two. So Tarnovsky, 
with the lead from Torres Madrigal ahead of Tacchini, the Italian. Still a couple of the paddlers with another portage to go. For the leaders, they've done their two portages. And they're coming round to this, the end of the fourth lap. So hard to say who's working hardest at the moment. There's a bit of a grimace on the face of the Cuban. Sergei Torres Madrigal. It seems that he's having to work hard just to keep up with Tarnovsky. But if he can just hang in there, he'll know that. If he can just hang in there, have a chance. Just for the sprint at the end. So complete the fourth lap, two to go. Nicely around that bend from both the Moldovan and the Cuban, negotiated that well. Tarnovsky not far behind. Brendel's just completed his second portage. It's good for him. Brendel, the left-hander, puts himself back into contention. So, Tarnovsky it was with the lead right from the start. He's still there. Didn't want to sit on the wash of anybody else. Wants to dictate the race under his own terms. Just has a quick look around to see where Torres Madrigal is. So uh, it's a good shot we can see. Boat running fairly true there. Locking onto the blade at the front of the stroke, driving the legs forward. A little bit of rotation there to give that bit extra to the stroke. Takini in the blue boat there, not too far behind. Looking a little bit tired, maybe. He needs to hang in there. So another bend we've got now. We'll say Takini and Torres Madrigal have negotiated these very well so far. Madrigal getting really close to Takini. He's got to take action, move a bit wider there. That will cost him energy. Right hander against left hander. Moldova against Cuba. Cubans, of course, have been very successful in these canoe events. It was Jose Cordova that won this race at the World Cup in Poznan. And teammates in the women's C2, multi-medalists at this World Championships as well. So Cuba have a really good setup for canoe paddlers. Let's hope they develop their kayak paddlers in the next few years as well, just as Mexico have done, winning a medal in the women's K4. Yaris Ladies Du Bois, the Cuban, in the next race in the women's C1 5,000 metres. But we've still got a lap and a half to go of this one yet. And now, the Cuban has made a move. He's made it early. He'll take the bell here. Still a long way to go yet, but he's taken the initiative away from Tarnovsky. It really looks like he's working hard. I hope he doesn't think this is the end of the final lap. Big grimace on the face of Sergei Madrigal. Right. Here they go. Oh, dear. Torres, that's not a great turn. It allows Tarnowski to come through and take the lead without having used any energy. Well, was that Torres' final burst of energy? Has he got anything else to challenge Tarnovsky? Tarnovsky, well, he's surely got the fitness, he's surely got the speed, because he is the Olympic bronze medalist in the 1,000 metres. Now, 
Now, Tarnowski didn't have his best race here at the World Championships in the 1,000 metres. He made the final, but uh, was outside of the medals in sixth place. Desperately wants a medal this time round. Prefer it if it was gold, I'm sure. There may be just one more challenge that Torres has to give. I'm sure he won't do it until we're round the bend. Brendel, the German, the big figure of the German, you can just say in the middle of his shot there. Running that boat well. Oh, what a legend he is. Six foot four and 92 kilos worth of strength and power, and he needed every kilo and every centimeter of that to take the win with his C2 partner, Tim Hecker, in the C2, 1,000 meters earlier today. That was one of the races of this championship. And he'd like to be on the medal rostrum once again. So here we go. The final bend before the final sprint. And the final men's C1 event at this World Championships here in Dartmouth, Canada. Swings really wide, Tarnowski, really, really wide. Pushing Torres out. Torres has matched him. Now, what has Torres got? That's the view they have. Just over 200 meters to go. For these two paddlers, is it going to be a gradual wind-up as we saw in the women's kayak? Or is it going to be a burst of speed from the Cuban? Let's see. As we race round in front of these paddlers, we get a great view of Lake Banuk, a great view of Brendel and Takini behind them. Tarnowski has a look round, senses the finish line. He knows those red boys aren't far away. That means 100 meters to go. That means about 25 seconds worth of paddling. Here we go. Torres Madrigal's having a go, he's having to go wide. He's gone. Tarnowski sensed it, he's keeping the stroke long. He's keeping it strong. He's keeping it powerful and he's keeping his focus dead ahead. He's got about a meter on the Cuban. Goes down to about half a meter. Has he done enough? Surely he thinks so, but it's going to be the lunge for the line. Goodness me. What a lunge. What a fight from the Cuban. Will await confirmation. It looked like Tarnowski just got it. Goodness me. That was close. And, wow. Sebastian Brendel, look at him. A picture of exhaustion on the giant's face. Ta Carlo Tacchini takes the fourth place. A brave race from him. We'll await confirmation of that, of course. Madrigal had a really good go at Tarnowski at the end and looked like he almost did it over the line, but I think Tarnowski just did enough. He has indeed. Confirmation there. First place for Sergei Tarnowski. Missed out on the medals in the C1 1,000 metres, but in a brutally hard race in the 5K, he takes the goal. There's the start. Can't say that the start's not important in 5,000 metres. It is, and that is why Tarnowski got himself nose in front, and therefore the group had to form around him. There he is in the red vest, right at the front. Tarnowski led for most of the way. There's the turn, that was crucial. That was Adolf out, the Hungarian. Gave Brendlin Takini a sense that they could pick up a medal. Not a great portage from Tarnowski first time round, but as we'll see, much better second time round from Tarnowski. There they go, push the boat off from the pontoon, back in the water. Torres Madrigal, to be fair, he had a go. With one lap to go, he took the lead momentarily, but he couldn't get round the turn, the left-hander. Tarnowski much smoother around that bend. Just had to negotiate the second portage. Did that better than the first. Grim determination on the face of Sergei Tarnowski, the Olympic bronze medalist. Reaching out for that water, locking on to the stroke, driving his body to the blade, pushing himself, giving everything, the lunge for the line.
comes. Oof! Goodness me. Seems close to the second time. Looks like, though, Tarnowski did enough. A brave attempt from Sergei Torres Madrigal. But he picks up the second Cuban medal of this World Championships. So fist raised in the air from Sergei Tarnowski, the winner of the men's C1 5,000 meter race. And very shortly, he'll be down on the pontoon with Ross. That's the media. Sergey. Hello. Congratulations. Uh, Thank you so much. What a tough race. Very close race, very hard race. Front wind, back wind, every time change. And this portage is not usually for me. <laughs> I, I don't compete on this distance a long time. Uh, before this medal, I have only one medal on the C1, 5,000 meters. It's a World Cup, yeah. and they take gold, and this is for me very big performance now because it's World Championship. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Well Thank done. You. Thank you all who believe in me, my coach, my parents, my brother, my dear friend. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, it has been through the mill as Sergei, Sergei Tonovsky difficult time out of the sport due to drugs infringement but he's back and back with a vengeance there pick up a gold medal in as he said not really his event so Moldova take the gold Sergei Madrigal from Cuba take the silver Sebastian Brendel from Germany takes another medal to add to his collection As the rest of the results Canada up there in the top 10 and the top 10 rounded out with Felipe Vieira of course, a lot of those paddles being knocked out due to them being the last at the end of each lap. And this has made the C uh, the 5,000 meter races really interesting. The knockout phases and the portages and the choice 